Now, at just 17, our next guest faced a life-altering challenge when she lost her eyesight due to a rare condition. Yeah, after struggling with the grief of that and the daunting prospect of navigating a new world, Lucy Edwards found unexpected strength in sharing her journey online. Yeah, from a viral makeup tutorial that captivated the world to becoming a much-loved beauty blogger with 1.8 million TikTok followers, Lucy has touched the hearts of many and now she's releasing a brand new book, Blind, Not Broken, and she's here alongside her guide dog, Molly. Good morning, morning. to you, Lucy. Good morning, guys. Thank How are you? you? Oh, brilliant. And thank you so <laughs> much for coming on, because um, I've always wanted to meet you. I've been following you online, and I've always wanted to meet you. Now, Lucy, when you first meet people, you yeah. do like them to describe what they look like, I don't do. You? I love a good audio description, Joe. Right, OK, so, <laughs> Dermot, you go first. Oh, I see. So, I have uh, a man... Uh, Hello. Uh, <laughs> very nice to meet you. Generic Sorry, guy. Guys, I'll put uh, you on the spot. I've got a kind of light blue t shirt um, on and dark blue strides uh, Love with brown that. shoes. And I'm hosting this morning uh, on a blue sofa with uh, Miss Josephine Gibson. And I'm so, do you know, when people ask you to describe yourself, you think, oh, what do I look like? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> who am I? Yeah, that's, what, that's what you're going through. So, yeah. Lucy, I'm with you. I've gone copper now, so I've got copper <gasps> hair. Babes, we're yeah. copper together, yeah. copper twins. And I'm, quite, I'm a little bit freckly. Uh, a bit chunky or uh, hourglass, Our however glass. you like, Our to, however you like to describe face. it. Um, uh, tall, I'm really tall, and I've got like a, a snakeskin sort of green top on and some black trousers and some really funky shoes. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, I quite enjoyed that at the end of Thank it. Thank you so much. That's really built up a picture in my mind. It's so important because obviously I had vision before I lost my eyesight and I still want to be in the visual world, so thanks, guys. And you, you, you actually got Ryan Gosling to do that. I did. <laughs> what was that like? <laughs> the red carpet, because I was hosting a premiere. And I was like, babes, could you just, you know, all she had describe yourself. And it was just very lovely. I think it breaks down that barrier, yeah. you know. It, it, it also, I think he gave me a few more questions on the press junket, like, so I was like, oh, Ryan, thank you. And it just got him to describe a bit more about himself. And also, I think you look within yourself and go, oh, what am I wearing? But actually, I've had a good morning too. And yeah, yeah this is, I've, I've, I've spilt a little bit of whatever down me and my cup of tea or whatever and it, yeah it, it creates a convo doesn't it forever Lucy, the journalist tell yeah. us a little bit about your for people that don't know you too well tell us a little bit about your journey then Just yeah so i lost my eyesight 11 years ago now nearly to the day um i have a really rare genetic condition called incontinenti pigmenti bit of a mouthful we mm -hmm. say ip but it runs down the female line of my genes um right. although my mother isn't blind or anything so it's really rare if we look at ip as a whole it's only really a thousand people in the world with the condition Gosh. and then five percent of those actually lose their eyesight from yeah. it so so yeah Luce, I, I mean, I couldn't imagine, you know, because you've had your eyesight and then you've lost your eyesight. What was life like navigating after you've lost your eyesight then? And is that, that all in the book? It's all in the book. Yeah. So, you know, when we when we think about surviving, not thriving, all my best friends go to university, mm -hmm. uh, my boyfriend and now my husband. Um, oh, you know, he's lovely. He, I oh, met him earlier. He's I so nice. Him. <laughs> yes, love him. He's my rock. And I just think, you know, it, it, back then I was in a dark place, you know, when we think about uh, my mental health, it was at rock bottom because I had to learn how to live again, guys. You know, yeah. you have to learn how to pour a cup of tea. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm 17 and I'm learning again now to like put me toast on mm. it's all very frightening and you know having my guide dog and uh, I think you know when you hold a guide dog harness for the first time you're like oh my gosh this two-year-old mm. dog is going to guide me everywhere I'm used to me myself and I so you know it, it, I didn't really think about the loss of my vision as affecting me but my sense of self was really shattered and I was like the world around me views me so differently now but I'm just still the same Lucy and yeah. it's so weird you know you did say that your dog Molly would face plant as soon as you started. And <laughs> you did. were not wrong. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I can't imagine that, that level of grief and, and panic is the first word I put down. Yeah. Because you had... You lost your eyesight in one eye, didn't you, when you were, when you were younger? And yeah. then the, so the second eye went. Yeah. Where... How do you get out of that? Where, where, did, where did... When do you start to bottom out and you start to approach the world with a bit of positivity? How long did that take and, and what were the steps? I think you swim in a sea of grief for so long. Yeah. Like all of us have that grieving story. It may be in some capacity, maybe you've lost a loved one. You know, we all understand what grief is like in some ways. But I think in my grief, I just wanted to tell the world that I, I am capable, I am confident in the end. But I think but it was a long time to get there. Yeah, it was a it was a long time to get there. I think 
you know, it, it was telling myself affirmations every day, even if I didn't believe it. You yeah, know, yeah, it yeah. was it was those two years where I did sit, sit in bed with ice cream. It was, you know, thinking about every day as if it was like just a day that I needed to think about positive things, not negative things, yeah, yeah about myself. Do you, do you know what I loved um, is when I read that you wrote a letter to, and I think we should all do this, you wrote a letter to, like, little Lucy, so you yeah. wrote a letter to, to your younger self. Can you tell I us did. about that, Lucy? Honestly, so at the end of my book, so here we here it is, I just, I can't believe I'm holding it in my hands. Aww. So at the end of the book, I say, you know, I've been through depression, I was diagnosed with depression, I've been on antidepressants, I know what it's like to have mental health, and it's a massive thing you know um to understand yourself in that way i still have a psychologist you know i deal with a sighted wealth ev every single day that isn't made for me but mm -hmm. um yeah i wanted to tell those little lucy's you know on day one someone's losing their vision right now today someone's grieving today right now on their day one i wanted to be their role model um because i didn't have one and and i was grieving and what i want to also say about this book is that i've got braille on the front cover i don't think anyone's ever done that before which is so cool it's like bringing like the visual world and the blind world together because that's what I'm all about and the uh, uh, lovely Navalens code which you can scan with your phone and it just tells you a bit of an audio description of the front of the book which what, I think um, is really cool. What's, uh, what's the process <laughs> like learning Braille? How tough, a, how tough a language is it to, to learn? You know what? I did at school so I think as a young kid you're, it's a bit malleable your brain yeah. is right but I think uh, having a visual language for me, A, B, C, D, and, and then kind of learning the tactile version. Grade two kind of condenses it. So um, it's like tech speak. I can't really get on board with that, but grade one, because I've got a visual brain. Yeah. It sounds really weird being a blind person with a visual brain, but it is tough to kind of... And the actual process of writing the book, do you, do you, do you record it? Like, you, you know... I, I type it, yeah. yeah, so I'm a touch typist. Yeah. Like, Ollie would come in, my hubby, um, in the... <laughs> it, sometimes in the late depths of the night because I haven't really ever talked about, you know, the moment that I lost my vision, mm. the consultant, when he told me, like, how many fingers am I holding up loose? Like, no-one's ever really heard me say that online before, so I was, like, in the corner of my bedroom, like, oh, my God, I've never written this before. And through my tears, I'm like, oh, it's OK, I don't need to see the screen so I can keep typing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the positives. <laughs> So. <laughs> um, and I can't have you on without talking about your lovely husband, Dolly. He's so nice. And I've watched podcasts of you two together. Oh, He's dear. hilarious. <laughs> you two together are so funny. But you did do your wedding a little bit differently, didn't you? Oh, my gosh, that, that was a movie moment for me. Yeah, so m walking up the aisle to uh, just Arrival of the Birds, like, that song always gets me because uh, the theory of everything is just a massive film for me. And, uh, yeah, Stephen Hawking has always been a massive inspiration. So, yeah, up the aisle, we had 3D audio and it, he actually made, my hubby made the track of um, it kind of crescendoing as I got to the end, so I knew where I was. The scented flowers up the aisle. Oh. We're talking about everyone being blindfolded in the, on my, in the audience and Ollie being blindfolded and then feeling my dress for the first time. Miss Molly having a collar on and a bell so she could hear all my bridesmaids being audio described. It was just I, I, I love the fact Ollie was bl blindfolded, yeah. so we had exactly the same experience Literally. as you. It was just beautiful. Because the blind experience isn't a less than experience it's it, like he just sees it as his world too yeah and I feel like we went blind together and that's probably like a controversial statement but the emotion of it because I saw him before I lost my vision yeah. like we just went through it together yeah. and Miss Molly had her star moment I mean she was matched to me I because to she... a picture of her asleep <laughs> so, again <laughs> oh, at your wedding because she's like babe I mean <laughs> if the camera's <laughs> always here her sparkly collar that's why she's called Miss Molly you know Lucy <laughs> do you know what I'm so glad I've met you it's such a pleasure having you on um, not. blind not broken out yeah. now and um, thank you so you're such an inspiration thank you so much thank for coming you. on thank, thank you so you. much the braille copy is also available for the rnib what a marketer what thank a marketer you. thank you Luke. <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> all right good luck with everything <laughs>